Welcome everybody. In today's video, we will run an example of finite element analysis using MATLAB.AN axial load P equals 300,000 N is applied at 20 degrees Celsius to the rod as shown in figure the temperature is then raised to 60 degrees Celsius. Let's analyze its behavior step by step using the code we discussed earlier. Let's start by running the MATLAB code. We'll input the properties for each element and specify the boundary conditions. The code will then calculate the displacements, stresses, and reactions within the structure. First, we enter the properties for each element. For element E1, we'll use an elastic modulus of 70 GPA, a cross-section area of 900 mm caret 2, a length of 0.2 meters, a body force of 0 n slash m caret 3 because our solution direction is horizontal and we don't need body force, a surface traction of 0, a coefficient of thermal expansion of 23 times 10 to the power of negative 6 1 slash c, and an average change in temperature of 40 degrees Celsius. Now, let's input the properties for element E2. We'll use an elastic modulus of 200 GPA, a cross-section area of 1200 mm caret 2, a length of 0.3 meters, a body force of 0, a surface traction of 0, a coefficient of thermal expansion of 11.7 times 10 to the power of negative 6 1 slash c, and an average change in temperature of 40 degrees Celsius. Great! Now that we have entered the properties, let's specify the point loads at each node. We'll apply a load of 0 n at node n1, 3000000 n at node n2, and 0 n at node n3. With all the input data in place, the code will calculate the displacements, stresses, and reactions within the structure. Let's see what we get. According to the results, the displacements at node n1, n2, and n3 are 0 m, 0.00022 m, and 0 m, respectively. These values indicate how much each node has moved in the horizontal direction. Now, let's focus on the stresses in each element. The stress in element E1 is 12,712,967.698066 pascals, and in element E2, it is minus 240,465,274.226451 pascals. These values are very close to the answer. Finally, let's examine the reactions at the supports. The reactions at node N1, N2, and N3 are minus 11,441.670928N, 0N, and minus 288,558.329072N, respectively. These reactions represent the forces exerted on the supports due to the applied loads. And there you have it. We have successfully analyzed the behavior of our rod using the finite element analysis code. The displacements, stresses, and reactions provide valuable information for design optimization and structural integrity. I hope you found this example helpful in understanding the practical application of finite element analysis. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting videos. Thanks.